materials and processes. 1. What defects will be detected by magnetizing the part using continuous longitudinal magnetization with a cable? Defects perpendicular to the long axis of the part. 2. On a fillet weld, the penetration requirement includes what percentage S of the base metal thickness? 25 to 50 percent. 3. Aircraft bolts with a cross or asterisk marked on the bolt head are standard steel bolts. 4. Where is any enclavis bolt used in an airplane? Only for shear load applications. 5. Select a characteristic of a good gas weld. The weld should taper off smoothly into the base metal. 6. A mechanic has completed a bonded honeycomb repair using the potted compound repair technique. What non-destructive testing method is used to determine the soundness of the repair after the repair has cured? Metallic ring test. 7. What may be used to check the stem on a pop pet type valve for stretch? Micrometer. 8. Holes in a few projecting globules are found in a weld. What action should be taken? Remove all the old weld and re weld the joint. 9. What is descriptive of the annealing process of steel during and after it has been annealed? Slow cooling, low strength. 10. Why should an aircraft maintenance technician be familiar with weld nomenclature? In order to gain familiarity with the welding technique, filler material, and temperature range used. 11. Which of the following methods may be suitable to use to detect cracks open to the surface in aluminum forgings and castings? 1. Dye penetrant inspection. 4. Eddy current inspection. 5. Ultrasonic inspection. 6. Visual inspection 1, 4, 5, 6. 12. Which heat treating operation would be performed when the surface of the metal is changed chemically by introducing a high carbide or nitride content? Case hardening. 13. In magnetic particle inspection, a flaw that is perpendicular to the magnetic field flux lines generally causes a large disruption in the magnetic field. 14. A particular component is attached to the aircraft structure by the use of an aircraft bolt and the castle tension nut combination. If the cotter pen hole does not align within the recommended torque range, the acceptable practice is to change washers and try again. 1. Which type crack can be detected by magnetic particle inspection using either circular or longitudinal magnetization? 45 degrees. 2. A fiber type, self locking nut must never be used on an aircraft if the bolt is subject to rotation. 3. Which of these non destructive testing methods is suitable for the inspection of most metals, plastics, and ceramics for surface and subsurface defects? Ultrasonic inspection. 4. Liquid penetrant inspection methods may be used on which of the following? 2. Ferrous metals. 3. Non ferrous metals. 5. Non porous plastics. 2. 3. 5. 5. What non destructive testing method requires little or no part preparation is used to detect surface or near surface defects in most metals? and may also be used to separate metals or alloys in their heat treat conditions. Eddy current inspection. 6. Generally speaking, bolt grip length should be equal to the thickness of the material which is fastened together. 1. The Society of Automotive Engineers, SAE, and the American Iron and Steel Institute use a numerical index system to identify the composition of various steels. In the number, 4130, designating chromium molybdenum steel, the first digit indicates the basic alloying element. 2. 
which tool is used to measure the clearance between a surface plate and a relatively narrow surface being checked for flatness? Thickness gauge. 3. When checking an item with a magnetic particle inspection method, circular and longitudinal magnetization should be used to reveal all possible defects. 4. Which statement relating to the residual magnetizing inspection method is true? It may be used with steels which have been heat treated for stressed applications. 5. What precision measuring tool is used for measuring crank pen and main bearing journals for out of round wear? Micrometer caliper. 1. What aluminum alloy designations indicate that the metal has received no hardening or tempering treatment? 3003F. 2. Which tool can be used to measure the alignment of a rotor shaft or the plane of rotation of a disc? Dial indicator. 3. Which number represents the vernier scale graduation of a micrometer? 0 0.0001. 4. How can the dimensional inspection of a bearing in a rocker arm be accomplished? Telescopic gauge and micrometer. 5. In the four digit aluminum index system number 2024, the first digit indicates the major alloying element. 6. Normalizing is a process of heat treating iron base metals only. 7. One characteristic of a good weld is that no oxide should be formed on the base metal at a distance from the weld of more than 1 2 inch. 1. How is the locking feature of the fiber type lock nut obtained? By the use of an unthreaded fiber locking insert. 2. Which of the following materials may be inspected using the magnetic particle inspection method? 3. Iron alloys. 3. Identify the correct statement. Dividers do not provide a reading when used as a measuring device. 4. Unless otherwise specified or required, aircraft bolts should be installed so that the bolt head is upward or in a forward direction. 5. Which condition indicates a part has cooled too quickly after being welded? Cracking adjacent to the weld. 6. A part which is being prepared for dye penetrant inspection should be cleaned with a volatile petroleum based solvent. 7. Why is it considered good practice to normalize a part after welding? To relieve internal stresses developed within the base metal. 8. What type of corrosion may attack the grain boundaries of aluminum alloys when the heat treatment process has been improperly accomplished? Intergranular. 9. If dye penetrant inspection indications are not sharp and clear, the most probable cause is that the part was not thoroughly washed before the developer was applied. 10. Which of the following defects are not acceptable for metal lines? 1. Cracked flare. 2. Seams. 3. Dents in the heel of a bend less than 20% of the diameter. 5. Dents in straight section that are 20% of tube diameter. 1, 2, 3, and 5. 11. The core material of Alclad 2024-T4 is heat-treated aluminum alloy and the surface material is commercially pure aluminum. 12. Aircraft bolts are usually manufactured with a class 3 fit for the threads. 13. Which tool is used to find the center of a shaft or other cylindrical work? Combination set. 14. Which tool can be used to determine piston pin out of round wear? Micrometer caliper. 15. Which statement regarding aircraft bolts is correct? In general, bolt grip length should equal the material thickness. 16. One way a part may be demagnetized after the magnetic particle inspection is by 
slowly moving the part out of an AC magnetic field of sufficient strength. 17. A bolt with a single raised dash on the head is classified as an AN corrosion resistant steel bolt. 18. The pattern for an inclusion is a magnetic particle buildup forming parallel lines. 19. A bolt with an X inside a triangle on the head is classified as an NAS close tolerance bolt. 20. Under magnetic particle inspection, a part will be identified as having a fatigue crack under which condition? The discontinuity is found in a highly stressed area of the part. 1. What tool is generally used to calibrate a micrometer or check its accuracy? Gauge block. 2. How is a clevis bolt used with a fork and cable terminal secured? With a shear not tightened to a snug fit, but with no strain imposed on the fork and safetyed with a cotter pen. 3. The clearance between the piston rings and the ring lands is measured with a thickness gauge. 4. Circular magnetization of a part can be used to detect which defects defects parallel to the long axis of the part. 5. The twist of a connecting rod is checked by installing push-fit armors in both ends, supported by parallel steel bars on a surface plate. Measurements are taken between the armor and the parallel bar with a thickness gauge. 6. In examining and evaluating a welded joint, a mechanic should be familiar with Likely ambient exposure conditions and intended use of the part, along with type of weld and original part material composition. 7. The reheating of a heat treated metal, such as with a welding torch, can significantly alter a metal's properties in the reheated area. 8. The side clearances of piston rings are measured with a thickness gauge. 9. In performing a die penetrant inspection, the developer acts as a blotter to produce a visible indication. 10. What two types of indicating mediums are available for magnetic particle inspection? Wet and dry process materials. 11. What is generally used in the construction of aircraft engine firewalls? Stainless steel. 1. Unless otherwise specified, torque values for tightening aircraft nuts and bolts relate to clean, dry threads. 1. Which material cannot be heat treated repeatedly without harmful effects? Clad aluminum alloy. 2. What tool is generally used to set a divider to an exact dimension? Machinist scale. 3. 1. An aircraft part may be demagnetized by subjecting it to a magnetizing force from alternating current that is gradually reduced in strength. 2. An aircraft part may be demagnetized by subjecting it to a magnetizing force from direct current that is alternately reversed in direction and gradually reduced in strength. Regarding the above statements, both number 1 and number 2 are true. 4. How many of these factors are considered essential knowledge for X-ray exposure? 3. Exposure distance and angle. 1. When the specific torque value for knots is not given, where can the recommended torque value be found? AC 43.13-1B. 2. 1. In non-destructive testing, a discontinuity may be defined as an interruption in the normal physical structure or configuration of a part. 2. A discontinuity may or may not affect the usefulness of a part. Regarding the above statements, both number 1 and number 2 are true. 3. Which of the following describe the effects of annealing steel and aluminum alloys? 1. Decrease in internal stress. 2. Softening of the metal. 1, 2, 4. All clad is a metal consisting of pure aluminum surface layers on an aluminum alloy core. 5. 
which heat treating process of metal produces a hard, wear resistant surface over a strong, tough core? Case hardening. 6. Which of the following is a main determinant of the dwell time to use when conducting a dye or fluorescent penetrant inspection? The size and shape of the discontinuities being looked for. 7. To detect a minute crack using dye penetrant inspection usually requires a longer than normal penetrating time. 8. The testing medium that is generally used in magnetic particle inspection utilizes a ferromagnetic material that has high permeability and low retentivity. 9. Magnetic particle inspection is used primarily to detect flaws on or near the surface. 10. Which of the following occurs when a mechanical force is repeatedly applied to most metals at room temperature? such as rolling, hammering, or bending. 3. The metals become cold worked, strain or work hardened. 11. If it is necessary to accurately measure the diameter of a hole approximately 1 4 inch in diameter, the mechanic should use a small hole gauge and determine the size of that hole by taking a micrometer reading of the ball end of the gauge. 12. The aluminum code number 1100 identifies what type of aluminum? 99% commercially pure aluminum. 13. What method of magnetic particle inspection is used most often to inspect aircraft parts for invisible cracks and other defects? Continuous. 14. Why is steel tempered after being hardened? To relieve its internal stresses and reduce its